Welcome back everyone. As I'm sure most of you saw in the last video, I did some powder coating on these hubs back here. And the next step is going to be installing some fresh bearings into them. So that's what I'll be knocking out today. Here are the bearings that I'll be using. They are made by All Balls and were provided by Rocky Mountain ATV MC. Now I know most of you guys already shop through Rocky Mountain, but if you don't already, click the first link down in the description to check out their website. They've got everything you could ever need for your dirt bike, quad, UTV, or street bike. So big thank you to those guys for supporting the channel. Before I get started pressing these new bearings into place, let's rewind a few weeks and see how I went about removing those old bearings. To pull out these bearings, I'll be using a blind bearing puller set. And the nut on the rear hub, this one right here, requires the use of the special tool. I'll put the links to where you can find these tools down in the description. Before pulling the nut off the rear hub, I've got to drill these two pin marks. These are what hold the nut in place. Real quick, just gonna pop open these new bearings and make sure I've got everything required. So for the front, we've got two bearings and two seals. And for the rear, it should be three bearings and two seals. Three bearings here and the two seals. And just to make pressing in the bearings a little bit easier, I'm gonna leave these bearings in the freezer for a few hours. And what this will do, it'll shrink the bearing ever so slightly and allow for a little easier installation. While the bearings are in the freezer, I'm gonna size up the hubs with these sockets. And this is what I'll be pressing the bearings in with. So I found some sockets that are pretty close to the diameter of the hole. So these will work out perfect. I am gonna begin with the front hub. I'm gonna bring it over to the shop press here that I just recently picked up. To protect the powder coating from getting chewed up when I'm pressing these bearings into place, I've got this sheet of foam underneath it and that should do a pretty good job. All right, so the shot press. I had to go pick one up. On this build, I'll be pressing in a lot of bearings, so it'll come in handy. This one is just a cheap 12 ton Harbor Freight unit. It was like $120, but seemed to have pretty good reviews, so I figured I'd take a chance on it. But I have yet to use it, so I'm pretty excited to see how it performs and I've actually never used a shot press before either. So I'm gonna go grab those bearings out of the freezer now and press them into place. To make insulation go a little bit easier, I'm gonna apply some grease to the inside of the hub here. I've got this mini grease gun. Just gonna squirt a little bit of grease inside here and spread it around. Just gonna line things up with the bearing in the hub here. Get the socket on there. Make sure everything is straight. All right, let's see how this press performs. With the foam underneath the hub, I was having issues with getting the bearing to go in straight. So I swapped it out for a block of wood. Hopefully that works a little better. Once I figured out the press a little bit and got this wood block into place, the bearing went in pretty smoothly. And you definitely don't want to forget the spacer that goes in between the bearings. It's a bad day when you do that. Trust me, I've done it before.
So this side bearing went in so much easier using the block of wood and just being more familiar with the press itself. Just got to pop these seals into place and the front hub will be done. Again, I'm just going to apply a little bit of grease to the lip or the inside of the hub and the seal will go in a little bit easier. It is pretty cool to see the hub with the bearings and seals pressed into place. That block of wood seemed to do a pretty good job at protecting the powder coating. I don't see any damage at all. Alright, that's it for the front hub. On to the rear hub. So the rear hub on this bike actually uses three bearings. Two on the sprocket side and one on the rotor side. I'm going to press in the sprocket side bearings first. One thing I noticed when I was pressing in the bearings on the front hub, it's a little bit easier if you tap the bearings in just a smidge with a hammer to get it straight before using the press on it. Looks like I've got the bearings started in straight. Just gonna press it in the rest of the way now. So you definitely don't want to apply any more force once you feel the bearing seat. Got one side done. Definitely can't forget the spacer. And now it's on to the disc side. One thing to keep in mind as you're pressing in the last bearing, the spacer in the middle has to be straight. If it's cocked to the side at all, that'll actually hang up the bearing from seating all the way. Got the bearings all pressed in. Next up is installing the bearing retainer and seals. I'm going to do that up on the workbench. So the bearing retainer is going to need some Loctite applied to it before threading it in. I'll just be using a blue Loctite for this one. It's always a smart move to pin the retaining nut into place. I've got a punch with a somewhat of a sharp point on it and then a hammer of course. So I'm just going to place the punch on the edge of the nut where it meets the hub and then give it a solid whack. And just that little peen there will hold the nut into place. And I'm going to do another peen mark on the opposite side as well. Last thing to do here is to install the new seals. Alrighty guys, that'll do it for the bearing installation. The bearing kits had everything I needed and it all worked out great. And as far as the shot press goes, pretty happy with how that performed too. Like I mentioned earlier, you guys have to go check out Rocky Mountain ATV MC. First link down in the description. So I've got a little giveaway for you. To win the sweet Prime MX hat, all you have to do is write down in the comments, Prime. That is P-R-Y-M-E. And I'll go through and pick one of your comments and send this hat over to you. And you got to hang in there for the next video. It is going to be epic. Thanks for watching, everyone.